I, you don't. That's the story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> you're almost losing to a Gannon? Almost losing the Gannon. Because if you, no matter who you are, you are, you're always one hit away from almost losing to a Gannon. It's not fair. <laughs> Is Gannon really? I'm just imagining long? like just milestone moments of your life, like graduating high school. You almost. <laughs> <laughs> just your teacher stamping an F on your paper. <laughs> Doria! Go to your job interview for your current job, and he's just waiting there behind the door, charging the kick. Just <laughs> All right, let, let's uh, let me open this uh, door to the workshop. <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> Pokemon had another little trailer thing. Showed off some new Dynamax forms, which is uh, like the giant forms. Charizard That's looks so fucking I'm so dumb. I'm so I hate of them all of it. How I... y'all hitting a thousand with all the humans and the Pokemon are just stinking I... up the joint. I that like... coffin looks so dumb. I like Dynamax Charizard. He looks pretty fucking sick. They sexy. keep willing out Charizard! And I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sick of it. Blastoise and Venusaur gets no kind of love. Char is always Charizard, and I'm sick of it. It's because Charizard, man. Yeah. Charizard the best. He's yeah. not the best. He is the best. Charizard <laughs> the best. He's good. But he is. I so they showed off a bunch of different Dynamax forms, and they have ones for the Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. And I just love the fact that Let's Go Pikachu's Dynamax form is just original fat Pikachu. Seriously. It is it's all amazing. it is. <laughs> Can we talk it about is... Meowths, though? I hate it. It looks <laughs> so stupid. Long cat. I hate it. Very long cat. Yeah. Like, Pikachu's like, oh, okay, that's a, that's a cute callback. Meowth. Wait, guys, what the fuck? That's the... That... No. That was the drugs finally kicking in. Like, <clears throat> they had some good designs, and then, like... At the peak of the creative portion of their high, they made Sir Fetched, who's amazing. And then the <laughs> Then they lost the buzz and Dynamax Meow came out of it. Robert Downey Jr.'s Doolittle. Oh the, did you the see accent the accent is the accent is the thing. Uh-huh. <laughs> did you see the Reddit stuff. No. Wait, what? Uh, the Reddit stuff for the Roundy Doolittle, there was a dude that was working on a production company and he just started releasing information. So oh. the director was a piece of sh- that clearly was out of his league and did not know what the f- he was doing mm. and oh, micromanaging great. everything. So <clears throat> they would be shooting for the day and the people would go, So where are the animals going to be placed? Because we need to know where down uh, where Downey's going to be standing, so we can place the animals there in post. And he goes, "Eh, Ugh. we'll figure it out. Let's get this shot of shooting." Mm. And there's like five stories of that. Interesting. We'll, just, the, we'll feel it out. <laughs> Great. <laughs> the dude ended it with, "I don't know who the production company is that they brought in, but if they can make it." even watchable they all deserve a raise <laughs> so he's thinking this is gonna be a dumpster fire interesting i'd believe it which would be very sad for Downey. i feel like he'd just kind of be annoyed <laughs> who cares he doesn't care he doesn't, he doesn't need it. He's, this he's dude is money. doing this is a passion project out there yeah. he's like whatever freaking dog movie polar bear let's rock it yeah, he, he don't he, need this He's set for life. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's done. He's 100% done. If they just go, this guy's eating five devil fruits, nobody wants to see that. Because <laughs> it's you, such you, a drop you say from that. the older quality. You say that. You say that. We got Jimbei fans out there. You have Jimbei fans fist. out there. People who stand Everybody Jimbei. wants to see SS5 Goku. Everybody's waiting for that next one. I think people just want Super Saiyan 4 back. Oh, definitely. It's the best four. It's the best 
form. It's the best form. I just so uh, on that note, uh, you guys just put out the first episode of a new revisited. Mm. Mm. Oh, <laughs> it was so fun. It was wasn't it DA? fun at all. Was it? <laughs> I got. I got so angry and I'm like, oh, I, I hate feeling this way. And then I just got, I just got drained of energy. I'm like, well, at least I know that I'm, I'm not a murderer or anything. So just, just like, all right, take me in, officer. I, I did it. <laughs> I just got, I just got drained for like five minutes. I'm like, I, I got to keep the energy up. And I'm just like, oh, BG, go on a huge rant. And BG's like, well, that sucks. Pause, look at me. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Take the ball, BG. <laughs> oh no. No, sir. You dribble the, the rest of this the, shot clock out, my friend. The, the issue with that was you went four and a half minutes. We played about 20 seconds. I went for maybe 40 seconds, and then you jumped right back in. So I'm like, oh, he's got more in him. And then we, for the beginning of part two, you go on another rant. Oh, and then God. you just, for like five minutes, go, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, he threw. <laughs> oh, he used it all up. He got nothing left. He threw it all at the spirit bomb and <laughs> still I'm had not that an angry person. <laughs> But this dude was talking all this hot nonsense. Yeah, it was terrible. And I just exploded like three times. And then I just Ooh. went. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't like fun. Jen Lock sucks. Oh my goodness. This was like, dude, you're doing stuff that legitimately pisses me off. He was so mad. Did y'all see that updated Sonic? Yes. I was no. going to get to that after this. <laughs> Okay. Mm-mm. We stand with movies. All right, all right. Yes, he looks so much better. Look good. He oh, what happened? So he ain't You were just uh, no, about no. I said it looked fine. <laughs> now uh-huh. I'm saying it looks good. I never said that looked good. Bruh. My, I was on the fine train. <laughs> that train was a crash <laughs> <laughs> because he wasn't fine. Yeah. He wasn't okay. <laughs> we he, still doing this? He wasn't a 5.56. We still doing He it. was a 2. Yes. That is... That looks so much better. Yeah, it does. So much better. <clears throat> I said there was always room for improvement. You're that I me. always said There was that. only room for improvement. <laughs> <laughs> No. That was a lead titanium inlaid fucking ground you had to dig to get worse. Uh, it wasn't going to be worse, kid. Google was saying how their technology is going to be so advanced that they're going to have something called negative latency, which doesn't fucking exist. Mm-hmm. Latency, by its very definition, is delay. <laughs> you can't go negative with delay. It's no longer latency yeah. at that point. And yeah. at that point, too, what they're saying is the game is going to play itself. So, you know, BG, if you, for some reason... everyone and welcome back to the podcast of stuff episode 235 now bg is going to try and convince you of something no it's not trying to convince you it's just the facts of the case there's a reason we're late is because somebody doesn't like an icon (laughs) uh it could have easily been hey let's talk about it after the cast easily Uh, Triton put down Mike late. No, we started the cast a minute or two late, specifically because of him. No, 
<laughs> Not at all. You start the cast. Nobody I, else can do it. I do. You could have just been like, ah, we're getting close to the time. It's a little <laughs> late to talk about this. We'll talk about it after the cast. I just, I, I don't know. Is this not no factual? Excuse. Is this no not excuse. factual? Someone, I was looking into something. I was doing a good deed for someone to remove but, something that is utterly were, pointless. <laughs> but you were acting like it was a Herculean task. I thought it was. God, I gotta, I gotta contact Discord <laughs> themselves. <laughs> We got to do some back alley handshakes. So, so, so I want to explain this. The reason for this is, so we have, you know, our own little private chats, other message threads here, what have you. And so because of the uh, generosity by Triton and DA himself, I might add. <laughs> plus Gavin. Plus Gavin, amongst others. Um, you guys boosted the server enough. We're now at level two Discord server. Awesome. Sweet. One of the things that was added for that is roll stickers. I was like, ah, oh, that's cool. I'm going to add the 2200 logo to all of the 2200 members as a roll sticker. That seems appropriate and accurate and cool, and I like it. Then we get a message from DA going, well, what was this? I don't no. like it. The message was, how do you remove it? It clashes with my art palette. Mm hmm Correct. <clears throat> What's the issue here? It's two icons. I don't need two icons. It's weird. No. <laughs> it has literal no connotation or meaning or anything. Oh, if it has no meaning, then there's no problem with taking it away. I just don't understand why it is oh, whoops. such oh, a oh, whoops. gigantic oh, whoops. <laughs> thing for you specifically. Never beat him. <laughs> <laughs> that ha that like, it's just an icon. Yeah, it is. Why do you I care mean, so much? But I don't like it. I don't like it. But I don't like it. Yeah, that's all it is. If I don't like it, and, hey, and right. I gotta deal with it outside of something that I can control, I'm gonna try to remove it. It's almost impossible to explain why you like or dislike something. Sometimes you just like and dislike things. Like I said, it clashes with the icon that I already have. It's two separate colors. It's two separate sizes. It's two separate things. So if, the pickiness is. So if we like somehow were able to add even more icons for other things, just no. Such as I don't know. <laughs> I'm just drawing hypotheticals. Okay, I don't I don't know what to agree or disagree with if I don't know what the context it, is. Because it seems like more than one icon. Brighton, you have it exactly. DA baby mode. No, not not at all. Outstanding I final nail where in the coffin. From. Um a, a little bit. Because DA is a man that is very organized and cluttered at the same time. But the clash of the icons, I think, is the biggest problem. No, we're not talking about it again, Triton. You you wasted your points. Thank you. I did have that as a topic. Of course you do. But uh, yeah, it's I yeah it's, it, it it is both baby mode and completely understandable. Yeah. 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 I don't. Have, do I have to start bringing up baby mode stuff from people on this cast? I, that is both understandable and baby mode. And I don't remember being asked to have an icon next to my name. You were just like, "Yo, this would be something that's cool." And I'm going, "Yo, it's not. <laughs> this isn't something that I opted into. <laughs> you can't just change my name to Da Baby Mode and be like, oh, it's fine. It'll mean nothing." <laughs> Can I do that? Hold on. <laughs> Yes, you can. You absolutely can. You can force change his nickname. Profile. No, you just right-click his fucking name, fool. I did. Right-click the name. I Scroll did. down to change nickname. Uh -huh. That is all you have to do. Ah. Well, do I have to teach you how to use Discord? Man. Yes, you do. <laughs> fucking Christ. That's that's more power than, than I should have. <laughs> power people should have are we getting into that too wait what why aren't we admin why 
Wait, what? You guys are not admins? No, no you are. Comp Bros is admins. You are. I'm looking at you right now. How? I don't have right, any. Right yeah, with your name. You are a part of the 2200 cast, which is an admin role. But Mike admin is role. admin. Mike is admin. I can't do what announcements. Do? You can't do I can't announcements? change my roles. Hold on. Hold the fuck on here. Do, 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 right click do, do. on Mike's and you will see you admin. I'm looking on Compros right now. It just, says admin. I, I literally just changed it. That's so fucking weird. No, hold on. When that role was made, it was made into an admin role. That's so fucking odd. No, because I couldn't do announcements Ralph, forever. do we need like, to teach you dang. how to use Discord? You didn't take Mike. You don't know how to fucking spell. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Fuck off, okay? No, I'm looking at it right now. You have you have fucking admin privileges. Oh, I could not do... What the fuck happened? I could not do oh, announcements. No, now I, I see, see I can. No, I see what happened. I already oh. see what happened. Oh, okay. I didn't check a box. That's all it is, is one box didn't get checked. We cool. Well now I know. Oiled, we are a fucking machine. travesty. <laughs> we are a fucking travesty. Do not even. People like watching us. I don't know why. Hi, y'all. You're fucking crazy. Where's oh, DA? Yes. Let me uh, fix that shit. I already did. Boom. DA admins. He okay. is no longer 2200. See how I, easy that was? Yeah, I took that off. Uh, I'm I'm making a roll just for fucking him though. <laughs> I'm not. I'm fucking with hey, you. Hey, cool! Hooray! Da. <laughs> baby got his way. We gotta do it. I mean, I don't see how I'm being a baby if I, something was forced upon me and I want it removed. Oh, what? Ah! Whoa, that joke, no. Yep, just let it go. Whoa, that joke, no. Let it go. It's not worth it. <laughs> was was this a bannable Twitch <laughs> joke? Uh, definitely not bannable, but in extremely poor taste. You're banned from life, <laughs> this is what I'm thinking it was. I, I feel like that is one of the few times I've seen literally someone catch something escaping from their mouth and just shoving it back. What are you talking in? about? I did it uh, like a month ago. More more so than I've ever seen though. Like that that was just like in the process and just like a uh, like hard breaks <laughs> right before the train tracks. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> okay. Well, I was kind of banking on you guys talking about Revisited a little bit, because nothing fucking I mean, happened we can this talk week. About it. We can talk about it. Um, I don't know what you want us to say that wasn't said in the podcast, though. It's legitimately the worst thing we've ever done. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it's one that, you know, again, we say these things a lot, <laughs> but I don't see how it could be any worse. Like, eventually, we're going to go back and um, rescore our Revisitus again. And and some of my numbers got to drastically change. Oh yeah, because some of these tens are no longer tens. They compared can't be. to this, it is some of these Hall of Fames can no longer be Hall of Fames compared to the stuff like Nux and stuff. And some of these things just got to go down. So there's this thing. This is getting into my work, but it, like it, it's applicable here. Um, so in this software development thing called Agile, <clears throat> you estimate chunks of work and you find your one point baseline and you base all of your other work off of that but that one point pace that one point baseline can change and we are seeing it right now is you guys had an original baseline but that has drastically shifted <laughs> drastically it drastically it go have. down. It shouldn't have. It should have always been like, yo, this is the tippity top, and that's all. The first video. The freaking... win. No, see if it. No, 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 I'm saying. The first one was oh, yeah. a, the a first negative one 10. Was the first one. And that was the baseline. Yeah, that and should have like... been it. And then, and then for Soda 5, we're just like, no, this is, this is worse. Than... And then it just kept going over. But again, I will say this, and everybody can <clears throat> quote me on this. There will be nothing worse than this one that we just did. It's pinned in the list exists. I saw that. It will not be beat. <laughs> we just need we need Mark it. I almost want a uh a revisited Hall of Fame purely for every time DA posts that quote. 
<laughs> Dude, Triton was doing it. He, he put a bunch of clips. It's like, there will be nothing worse. Nothing. And then it was like, there will be nothing worse. No, but this is it. You know what? Here, here's what we do. If we do find something worse, and we both must unanimously agree, you and me, DA gameplay streams for a month, one a week. I'm doing it. I'll rock That's it. how wait, much wait, I wait, feel wait, strongly wait, about wait, this. Wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> Content. That's right. <laughs> DA bets that he will become a content boy. <laughs> oh my God. This is happening. If he One stream a week. Ever says the phrase again. That <laughs> there will never be anything worse on revisited. Are we do are do we have to remind you of the bets you have already <laughs> logged that just right, go. Right. No, no, we don't. It's fine. We, we, you said that our asking as DA is a fing idiot. We've established this. He's back there. We're all pointing and laughing at him. Me right now, I've learned and I've grown. What have, you learned? what have you learned? I've learned not to bite off more than I can chew. That's not what this is? No, it's not. Because okay. there okay. has been nothing that okay. has get, made me get up and start pacing around in the 60-some-odd <laughs> episodes of Revisited that we have done. I don't see anything <clears throat> getting to that level ever again. And hopefully, by the time it does come... Probably will. Everybody will have forgotten about this. Oh, I won't. <laughs> no. You don't know that's how often I look at this bet list, you my think friend. Triton's gonna think forget about this. <clears throat> Hopefully, you, you Triton will have moved you, on to bigger and better. You, by you the know, end. You know, you hey, I'm think... in college. I can never talk to y'all ever again. Hey, yeah. right. I'm a professional <laughs> statistician. <laughs> hey, that was three months ago. What happened? Hey, I'm I'm an astronaut now. I'll be, <laughs> I'll be on the space flight tomorrow. Oh, yes. yes. Goodbye forever. <laughs> Y'all think... want to talk to Elon Musk? <laughs> <laughs> you don't think Meme has not heard this and is just salivating at the challenge that you have Absolutely. just thrown down? <laughs> Absolutely. There's nothing that can be The worse. Infinity Gauntlet <laughs> has been Absolutely. thrown. <laughs> hey, if you got it out there, if you got an ace in your pocket... Throw it out. Make me stream for a month. If this is what y'all y'all want the content, show that you want it. it. It don't exist. Don't waste your time. Oh no, their time I'll is about it, to be very well utilized. Yet. <laughs> oh no, it's coming. Oh dude, dude Demon Slayer season two. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah. Mike, <clears throat> Dead Space three for uh, some Halloween stuff. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I've been uh I've I've decided to play Dead Space one and two on stream through um October. And then we can the last week of Halloween of uh October we can just play Dead Space three. All right. Well we'll have to like <clears throat> go on and off too with uh me uh leading up to Metroid as well. But hey. <clears throat> oh yeah, of course. Good problem to have. Uh, I mean I, I work I work late nights, so that time is free to you and mornings is free to me, so gotcha, gotcha. Uh, actually, speaking of which, did that get an update? So yeah, my uh, <coughs> my uh, DS, my capture DS that was supposed to come in the mail, uh, the seventeenth, um, was just like, yeah, uh, it's arriving late, and then there was no release date, and then and this is coming from Germany, so like, <coughs> understandably, like I know it was gonna, I knew it was gonna take a while. And then on the 18th, which is the day after it was supposed to be here, it's like, it's in New Jersey. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, gotcha. Okay. Your shit got dropped off a truck. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, yeah, uh, that's why I hate looking at tracking numbers, because sometimes they're just like, hey, it's right up the street. Oh, my mistake. It's in Hawaii. <laughs> like, Wait a second. I saw the truck go by. <laughs> And then I'll, I'll be standing there waiting. Like, we tried to deliver it to you. I don't know what you was doing. I'm like, I'm standing right here for the past hour. What? Wait, right, remember that time the dude was supposed to look at our cable because it was out? And he sat in the front yard and he had left oh and went. Oh, my goodness. Nobody answered. <laughs> dude. <laughs> that bastard show did have himself a nice sit down. 
So wait, <clears throat> a cable guy came to check on something. Didn't yeah, he didn't some, walk up our to your internet door? was out. It was it was either a cable line or just like uh, the electricity that came <laughs> on. So somebody else needed to look at the line itself. Uh, so he drove out. He was at the curb. Did some stuff on his notepad for about forty minutes, and then left. <laughs> And we're just like, oh, he's just setting some stuff up. He's just getting ready. He's making his report. He's calling on whatever the cable man got to do before. Oh, he's driving away. <laughs> just, he took one look. He's like, lost cause. No, I, he's just like, I don't want to do work right now. So that's all it was. Because we called back afterwards. And they were like, oh, that shouldn't happen. We didn't even get a report from him. He said nobody answered. <laughs> yes, do. <dude. laughs> It was awful. It would have been even better if you guys like walked up to the truck and were like, hello? And he's just like sitting there jamming to music. And then he just turns on the car, drives away. And you're just like in the driveway like, but, but wait. <laughs> Come it was back. infuriating. <clears throat> oh, boy. All right. Uh, so I guess we'll just get on to other news and just any other things we want to talk about. Because, again, not a whole lot <clears throat> this week. Um, Good. Weekly Sheepish. reminder, Black Lives Matter, Stop Asian Hate, wear your masks, please, and go get your fucking vaccine, please. I just wanted to see Dan's Gavin dance. That's all I wanted. I, I would like... They come this Saturday. <clears throat> Normal-ish life in general. Ming, Ming Nawa, the voice of Mulan, is going to a con up the street. No way. And I'm like, no. <clears throat> it's in Mulan and just no. That's And there's, you know, I, I got a friend who's going through a cancer treatment. And he's like, you know, I'm taking every precaution, but I'm going to the Dolphins game. I'm like, will you not take it every precaution? Yeah, that's... <laughs> I mean, that, those two things. <laughs> and also... Oh, oh, oh. Not every precaution. That is a nightmare. Yeah. Also, like, I, I just want to, like, emphasize to people watching this stream, VOD, whatever, of the fact that DA is not going to get an autograph. That is... That's incredible. Enormous. <laughs> this man was taking $30 lifts at 6 in the morning to get an <clears throat> autograph at a con. This man... I've, I've done some things for autographs. Took a, a Greyhound trip from hell to Texas. Almost got shot. <laughs> Could have just caught a plane. It's too, too expensive. <clears throat> He's also very cheap. <laughs> uh, yeah. Did you go in Texas? Um, Dallas. No, not, 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 not Dallas. It was um, Houston. Houston. Oh, wait. No, no. Things are opening back up. All right. <clears throat> but yeah. Uh, yeah. Just the, and, and yeah, like Mulan's your favorite Disney movie, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So <laughs> it hurts so much That's... that she is up the street and it's, and I cannot. And right you... now, if you were to leave this week <laughs> or uh, October 2nd, <laughs> there is a hundred dollar round trip. That was not there before. Don't pretend like it was. Okay. Don't you pretend like it was. Okay. I just want to know. I barely looked. <laughs> like I barely tried. <clears throat> yeah. Um, Da not F is ridiculous because you know we run panels. We uh, used to do AMV panels and stuff, and he would just be like, "Okay, gotta go. All right, I'm out." <clears throat> he would. Uh, he was in the middle of a wars, which is you got two hours to edit an AMV against another AMV editor. He finished his video, turned it in, and then was like, all right, I got to go get some autograph autograph time. <laughs> so the other person... I showed just... up to Wars late as well. <laughs> oh, the auto... Dude, the autograph stuff, it's, it's some... Oh, boy. Just like full <laughs> days of y'all just like, we haven't seen day all day. Sure have Obsession <laughs> isn't strong enough of a word. True. <laughs> It's borderline addiction. <laughs> the human lexicon has not created a, a word strong enough for what it is. Oh my god. 
me to create language for you. <laughs> but I understand and I accept it, and I'm working with it. No, <laughs> you're actively not working in it. with yeah. it. That that uh, is embracing. That's, that's it is. Yeah, that's good. It's mm. like you know, I'm functioning. Yeah, I smoke crack, but I got a job. I mean, Kira Six. is just all he's doing is taking care of his urges in the most healthy way possible for him. Am I not doing the same? Signaturism, <laughs> but it itself is unhealthy. It could be seen as that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You know, just that, not that, the middle. <laughs> that is literal addict talk. <laughs> I mean, sure, if you want to see it that way. <laughs> One could argue. <laughs> Being the most fair. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> That's nuts. Yeah, I, I've been yeah, like... <clears throat> every, like... Probably this next week, I am going to attempt to go see Shang Chi because I've noticed theater numbers are down a lot. As well, they should be. Yeah. So, uh, man, I've been looking for a good bootleg, and they just ain't out there. Yeah, because <laughs> no sorry, one's in no theaters theater, to get a bootleg. <laughs> <laughs> but you would think if one person got to a show by himself, he could pull up a full he got a phone. freaking camera and a whole studio camera on his <laughs> shoulder and everything and just be chilling. Who cares at that point? That is a, that is a thought. <laughs> <laughs> ah, dude. I don't know. <clears throat> but yeah, like, there's it's all this stuff that I want to do. Like, uh... <clears throat> I, uh, the tournament that I was going to, the Smash tournament, um, the one friend that I made there, um, I think mostly just because there's less people going, but he's also a Ridley main, got third at uh, at our local. <clears throat> and I was just like, oh, man. And like yeah. I felt like we were kind of on even footing, too, because I'm like, man, I, I could have. I could have did pretty could've well. Could have been somebody. Yeah. <laughs> I could have been could've on been stream. A contender. <clears throat> Except, you know, I don't want the cough cough. Yep. The big cough. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Wear your fucking mask. All right. <clears throat> um, we don't, you know, we, it's a free country. Yo, you dummies. Like, if, have to unfollow <clears throat> people that are anti-vax. You just if, have to unfollow them and mute them. I'm if dead. my five-year-old niece can just be told, like, <clears throat> when she, she just started kindergarten recently, and she wore her mask on the first day, but then no one else is wearing it. But then um, Delta really took hold. <clears throat> and um, I think there was or actually there was a confirmed case at my uh, at her elementary school. It was like someone in an older grade, someone she didn't have contact with, thankfully. Um, <clears throat> and my sister, just her mother, carefully explained to her, she's like, you need to wear a mask just because you don't want to you you want to be protected from the germs and you don't want to spread you germs to other the people. Cough, cough. <clears throat> and um, and she was concerned. She's like, but the other kids aren't wearing masks. And my sister was like, well, I think uh, next week you're going to see a lot of other kids are going to be wearing masks too. And she came home from school that day. She's like, mommy, you were right. <laughs> and and she wears her mask all day. Doesn't complain. Doesn't mind it. She's a little trooper. So if but, my but five she year can't breathe though, if my five year old she's niece, not getting enough oxygen to her brain if to my develop her five brain. Year old niece, where's can... the dewormer? <laughs> Pump her full of cow hormones. That'll no, do it. No thanks. <laughs> That's the way, country. <laughs> Keep that shit away from my niece. <laughs> I will beat the uh, shit. See, you're just another one of them. Yep. You done fell the for it like the sheep you are. Out of anyone. <laughs> like the sheep you are. Now take your sheep medicine. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, just... No, I don't know what the word irony means. What are you talking about? <laughs> There's no iron in this. It's drug? horse dewormer. <laughs> Oh my god. <clears throat> so yeah. Yeah, the, the mask is uncomfortable at times, Gavin. Absolutely. Yeah. But 
It is what it is. I mean, yeah. it'd be more uncomfortable to be, to be hooked up to them ventilators, boy. Correct. That's, hey. that's the most hey, uncomfortable. Sometimes my shoes are uncomfortable. I'm not going to take them off. And it's like so many dumb things, too. It's like, hey, no shirt, no shoes, no service. You, you guys bitching about that? Like, hey, you're in Where's the seatbelt? infringing on my right to freedom to not wear a shirt into your establishments. No, we don't want to see your fucking nipples. <laughs> Male or female, I don't care. We don't want to see your gross feet. <laughs> I don't want People your gross COVID. <laughs> Wear a mask. Ridiculous, dude. How is how can it be this? How can it be this difficult? <clears throat> this difficult for this many? Mm -hmm. Like if it was like. A fringe here and there. Yeah, three thousand people in the entire uh, country. You'd be like, Ugh, "You dummies!" <laughs> and everybody would just shrug and laugh them off. Dude, it's like it's a movement. It's like thirty percent of the populace at this point. Like, mm -hmm. what's going on? There's a vaccine tracker for USA, and I think it's only up to like fifty-four point three or four. How is that possible? <laughs> How? Full vaccinated or at least one shot. You know what? I don't know. I would assume. Full... I just see it every now and again because people just will retweet it. <clears throat> yeah, I have. There's a site that I've had um, basically open the entirety of this pandemic. It's the um, uh, John Hopkins University of Medicine. They've had this updating map <clears throat> of the entire world of the COVID cases, but you can filter down to country and what have you. Um, and that's roughly updated daily um some regions or states or whatever will only report weekly cases deaths what have you um <clears throat> so the u.s while uh, you're looking that up uh, it's it's fully vaxxed for that Twitter. <clears throat> okay so and while you're looking that up uh the h bomber guy video really gave me insight into this scenario absolutely that was a fantastic video it just shows you how gullible people were through a man who just wanted to sell them stuff. And now the entire country is just like, well, the <laughs> flu shot causes autism. No, it don't. Fun and informative. That's Watch that H Bomber guy video. My God, it's so good. So is that world or is that? Okay, so this is, so there's total vaccine doses administered, which is 384 million, which is if you... Think think of it as like fully vaccinated people. I think it's like three hundred and fifty million is the population of the United States, right? Somewhere around there. <clears throat> you asking me? Geography numbers like that, Geography, please, man. <clears throat> so I, th yeah, 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 okay. So yeah, and so that roughly get, is about hey, fifty five ish percent. So <laughs> data track. You give me a map of the U S. right now. I got 16 states for you. Well, I'm not talking geography. I'm just talking No, no, no I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't know about... I don't know the population of nothing. So yeah, like... Because that's, that's like world studies and social studies and all that type of crap, too. No <clears throat> clue. Uninteresting. Let's see. Let's just take a look at the numbers right now. So, um, weekly, um, trending up. Uh, I'm just looking at our relevant states. In Ohio, we are still trending up. Um, <clears throat> Everywhere is going to be trending up because did you? Florida is finally do trending see this? down. What's trending down? Florida is finally trending down. Their deaths well, no, are still going up. Everybody died. Yeah, it hit yeah. the peak. Yeah, <laughs> ain't nowhere to go but down. Yeah, their their deaths. <laughs> everybody are that could get caught it. He is fuck right now. <laughs> and most of them, and most of them died. Like, did you did you guys see the new tweet from the governor of Florida though? No. He put up a, a tweet of him um, thanking Donald Trump for his endorsement, and uh, was flying a caricature flag of Trump, wielding a um, SMG, firing it off screen while Trump is riding a Velociraptor, carrying the American flag in another hand. <clears throat> Accurate. Or, this is that is how this are is people a politician in our country? How are people still falling for the Trump, the Trump grift? 
because they're idiots. You got to understand this. We're it, we're we're neck deep in the uh, dumbing down of America. So most people, even of our generation, are grossly under or just straight up uneducated. But you can be uneducated and still learn things or That's the uh, thing. open your mind to things to absorb the information That's to get the things. The thing is, without the education of critical thinking, growth, what's happened is, is now people just don't trust big government and instead believe their drunk uncle on Facebook and the Russian propaganda machine that keeps do, fucking making them think do that your things research. are the way they're not. Yeah, but, but I don't have the time still, to teach you. Even without common sense and people teaching you and learning and stuff, you can still just look at Trump going and making fun of like a handicapped person. You can still just but, be like, yo, that's who they I are. feel some kind of way about that. No, that's because they don't. They're that way. So That's, that's how they I, are. One of the things, too, because like a lot of people like will point to... Um, like going to college or something is something like where it's like you open your horizons, you learn to and like not just in classes, but just experiencing new peoples and what have you to open yourself up to critical thinking and new things. But it's like, I wouldn't even necessarily put it to college. Honestly, I think fans of anime are kind of like in that same boat because once you kind of get neck deep into anime, you are shown this completely different culture from the U S and so you start looking at other stuff, like other cultures and what have you, and it opens your mind to, hey, there's more than here. I feel like the the people out there that are like, oh, dumb, we bullshit, anime, stupid, like, you'll see that, and then Trump's base converge very heavily. Uh-huh. And just, yeah, like, people that have just been in, like, insular? Indoctrinated. That's the word you're looking for. Well... Like is indoctrination it, it, is the right well no word. no 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 it's it's insular though is what I'm thinking of right where this is like they've just been in the country yes like, I know I was just I was just leading you into a different yes I understand where you're getting at but like I wouldn't even like I would say Trump himself was the indoctrination but it's the people that remained insulated inside of this purely United States purely American culture that and didn't have their horizons expanded by anything there's a couple of people even that I went to that i went to college with that uh defriended me on facebook <laughs> because oh yeah absolutely people do that all the damn time when i try and challenge things oh yeah. um that's the thing is when you don't they don't want the discussion they want they want your they want your submission that's what they yeah, want it's a confirmation bias they yep. they listen to their uncles on facebook and stuff joe rogan they're already saying the things that they want to believe yep. or do believe in yeah, as absolutely. opposed to reading something that uh contradicts or goes against what they say and trying to dissect it and think about it they just mm -hmm. go nah that's fake that's not what no mm -mm. let me get to the real sh yeah it's trump was a rich guy i want to be a rich guy i'm going to believe the rich guy that's pretty much the breakdown of what people why they initially followed Trump. I mean, you could say the same thing for like the any celebrity, Nicki Minaj, oh, yeah. that whole thing. Her cousin's balls or whatever the fuck she's talking about. Dude. How do you how, how is this believed? And then that stupid piece of uh uh Tucker Carlson just like hey, we want to get him on the show so he can talk about this. Unbelievable. Fame is nothing just because you're famous doesn't mean you're right doesn't mean you're you understand what's going on we have reached such a point of disinformation and propaganda in this country that let's face it here we have reached such a peak of poor understanding of how things work in the modern world in this country that we demonize unions one payer single payer health care uh the and union stuff it's so and, ridiculous it's bad and funding education funding education is now a liberal agenda let that sink in funding education is a liberal agenda <clears throat> oh for anybody that doesn't know the Nicki minaj thing uh she put out a tweet talking about um 
you know, my cousin said he wasn't going to get the vaccine because his friend got the vaccine and it ended up giving him swollen balls and uh, potentially impotence. And he was about to get married. And the, uh, the, the fiance called it off because of the swollen balls and stuff. And people were like, the vaccine don't do that. He probably got an STD. And mm-hmm. I was just like, nope. People just mad because I'm asking questions. <laughs> <laughs> so which led which it led to, I believe, like a head politician from the country she's originally from, being like Trinidad or whatever. Trinidad, we don't have any reported cases like that of any kind. <laughs> whatsoever. It was, a, it was a whole press conference, and he just had to go. Part of it was dedicated to this woman's tweets are lies. I was wondering why a couple of days ago it was just like it was trending on Twitter of just like COVID vaccine will not cause male impotence. I was like, well, of course not. <laughs> nope. Thank you, Minaj. Minaj. Just straight went. No, it did. Uh, <laughs> and I mean, all this what happened. Uh, this isn't the Doctor Minaj. This isn't the first celebrity though to be so painfully ignorant of things. Look at Gwyneth Paltrow and Goop. The shit, they put this in your vagina and it'll detoxify it. And she was causing mass fucking hospitalizations. And people she, just she told people to it. stick a wasp nest in their hoo-ha to mm. lower the pH or some bullshit. Mm. People did it, dude. Mm. I mean, the science is still out on that. <laughs> we don't have all the facts. <laughs> Because nobody's willing to try it. <laughs> <laughs> no, they did. I don't know. I hear hoo ha, and I just ha- I hear that clip of Hungry Box when he's describing Diddy Kong's up throw to up air. That's the hoo ha. <laughs> I, I I I I almost said something a lot more derogatory, and that was me cutting myself off. So there you're you welcome. It's very difficult. I, for I me. think of Busta Rhymes. <laughs> Hoo ha! Got you all in check. I think of Roman Reigns. Well, we all went four different directions. There, there. you go. <laughs> and one if of that us just isn't the podcast one. of stuff <laughs> just summed up neatly. There you go. <clears throat> oh boy. Okay. So let's let's get off the depressing COVID talk. Oh, I adore it. It's not depressing to me. Same. But then again. I fuck- we're, we're oh, also dude. that way. You we're know I got a, another way. Superman argument? No. Another one. Another one. All <laughs> these evil Superman people do. I I can't. No, that's the, but that's the best one. way that's the character the can be. Guy. Yeah, that's the I best can't. way the character can be done. Only way the character can be done. Only It's the only way to make him interesting, I guess. Factual statement. Somebody mm-hmm. said, you know, uh, I don't hate Superman. Uh but he's not going to be my favorite superhero because he's too powerful. And because of that, the conflict, you, you just got to keep escalating. And that's not interesting. And it's just like, dude, he cured world hunger for a day and learned a lesson about it. That's interesting. I don't, no, I don't too unreal. For him to fight dark side every week. Too unrealistic. Did, uh, did you like go? <laughs> did you talk to those people and like, hey, you like Dragon Ball? They're like, oh yeah, love it. Favorite anime. Love it. No, <laughs> <it's> very <laughs> fantastic. Why would I get their like, their mm. thought process on it? They're dummies. <laughs> Dumb witches. Oh. So, um, <clears throat> let's see. What do I have here? Um, so beat no more heroes three on stream. Yeah, ended up being a lot shorter than I thought, and then played Smash the rest of it. Um, <clears throat> do any of you guys care about spoilers? Oh, I no. absolutely do. Okay, then I won't talk about it. Um, it's a good game, y'all. Very, very. Best okay. No More Heroes, easily. Really? Yeah, yes. I need to play it there. Yes. That sucks. It is, it is very, very, very good. <laughs> <clears throat> Um, yeah, that's, I guess that's all I'll say about it until others that want to play it have played it and we can talk about it. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so five minutes later, <laughs> I have played the game. Um, also playing Tales of Arise. Um, boy, I didn't realize I, I had a Tales itch that I'm just constantly scratching right now. 
Okay, <laughs> let me sum this up to you guys real quick. <clears throat> we were trying to figure out if we were going to play a um, Jackbox game today, right? We text each other like, the past few days, a little bit delayed here and there. So to make sure that I knew what was going on, when I got out of work, the first thing I did was get in my car and called Mike. I'm like, hey, I'm heading out, but do we have any updates? I just wanted to call so I knew what's going on. Him. No, I don't really know. And honestly, I'm not going to send a text because I'm in the middle of a Tales binge right now, and I kind of don't want to get off of it. <clears throat> so rather than even ask about content, he wanted to keep grinding in Tales. It's... I even asked him if he was going to play Tales on stream. He's like, no. It's... I, I couldn't stream that long. Like, uh, this is one of those games where it's just like, I want to, like, sit by myself no. and enjoy by myself. No, no, no. And then that. every time that you want to play, you would have to stream yeah, as no, well. No, so no, you'd be like, I oh, understand. man, it's in 10 o'clock at night. I understand that part and what Mike said after the fact. I do not understand the I can't stream that long. If you can play that long, you can stream that long. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, because you got to be on. You don't got to be on. You have to be on some, to some degree. To you have some to, degree. You yeah. have to. Have that mindset, on you have to have two minds: the 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 game mind and the audience mind. It depends. And, and sometimes on, you don't want to do that. It depends because uh, sometimes the audience don't need you to talk uh, within four minutes or whatever. Sure, but you need it for yourself. Nah, I don't there's like there's that. there's times in revisits where I'm just like haven't said anything for like a minute and a half. That's a bit long. Not me. <laughs> I say what I need to when I need to. <laughs> no, I same thing here. I'm not forcing any sort of conversation or anything, but it's in the back of my mind. I'm just like, I ain't saying. Sh but the thing is, it's like the last two days, three, actually, because I took Friday off. <clears throat> um, I literally played from when I woke up to about 1 a.m. Ooh, one of them days, huh? And, yes. <laughs> just one like, of them yeah. weekends. Uh one of them weekends. You're I easy couldn't... to cook meals, DoorDash, just like, oh, basic, basic oh, nutrients. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't shower till about 5 or 6 p.m. on each of those days. <laughs> oh, boy. Like, yeah, this was a binge. I haven't had Missed one in a days. while. <clears throat> um, And, yeah, like... I, I like I like DA said. So I much. I could not be on and interacting with chat that long. For all three days. <clears throat> Howard. <laughs> Howard. Howard. So yes. Twenty four hour stream. Just fucking do it. <laughs> it's you bitch. time. I mean, one at some point like that. That would be a charity thing for sure. <clears throat> you know what the charity's called? Getting us more subscribers. Get on the fucking grind, Mike. And it's, I'm I'm gonna stream tomorrow. I was gonna announce that at the end, but I'm gonna stream tomorrow. Stream <clears throat> what though? Uh, probably do a quick Zelda randomizer while I kind of wait to see what this whole delivery process is going to be. Uh, ah. and then don't know from there. Uh, when does? Hold on. My brother actually started a uh, uh, run through stream of all the Zelda games, start to finish. Kenna Bridge of Spirits comes out. Next week or this week? This week, sorry. Is it this week? I believe so. Or no, next week. That's my fault. I think it's the uh, nine twenty-one. No, in two days. Oh wow, it was this week. So uh, we'll do a Zelda randomizer, and then if we don't have any. Uh... Wow, look at that! Triton giving you props, Da. <laughs> when he actually he does that. content. <laughs> Oh no, I'm amazing. I know. Yeah, you know, you all gotta you all gotta find find that magic video to turn him into content boy for one month. Yeah. As far it's, it's as uh, as far as spinning plates, there is nobody in our group better than DA. I want he will entertain of a and he is the best show you did. And, and I am uh, so and it, it's a it's a seesaw. It's just like one goes up, one goes down. Yeah, I'm so into content, <laughs> but I can't sit there and start the entertainment like i can keep it going until the ball is massive but to start the rolling pause process for the ball i'm just like yeah that's not me <laughs> but i'm so plus in the content category i almost it sucks i want a design uh now that, now that i am deeming da content boy i just want like a design of him with, in like, funny letters saying content boy, and him just looking as 
pissed off as humanly possible. No, 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 no. <laughs> just a minute. Just, just, just fire and a rattle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Ooh, Commission Dax. Rashford, he'll do it. Dax! <laughs> Dude, I, I'm waiting for him to reopen him up in commissions. He, he be doing some shit. I'm free. waiting for that. And I'll just be like, bro, I, we could be paying you right now. I, I, free I, I, I already, I have paid a member of this community already. I already paid Tangent for that emote. I am willing to pay for this. <laughs> Dude, because he'll be in our, when we do our live streams, he'll just be in the Let's Exist channel, just go, hey, I did a drawing of what you guys just joked about. And it's like, my God, he this is incredible. Master did like five Kuma ones, just like, yeah, based off of this one little joke, here's five Kuma draws. It's like, what the f are you doing? <laughs> Seeing a fan. I'm just imagining that DA's like a grumpy like like boss baby, just like with his hands crossed with like the little uh bassinet over is bassinet that goes over your head, right? <laughs> is that what I'm thinking of? I think so. Called? Yeah, bassinet with just with a rattle in one hand hand in the cross with, with the binky, just <laughs> with the biggest scowl. <laughs> He's gotta have a rattle or uh he has to have a rattle in one hand and a controller in the other. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Oh my god, I need this in my life. <laughs> Just, it's, it's outstanding. <laughs> okay. But yeah, uh, DA, Tales of Rise, very good. All right, that's the, what the, I wanted to hear. The ass, I don't, I don't know what the demo's combat played like. The combat is not slow. It's not. Okay. Flat out not <laughs> at all. Um, <clears throat> a lot of stuff to manage with, the, with uh, various uh, different aspects that they've added into the game. Um, stories. Is there a talent management? Not yet. Ugh, never mind. You're not getting that uh, Yakuza like a dragon thing again. Well, I mean, like it's it's happened in Tales games before, where you have to like rebuild a town from scratch. Yeah, it also happened in uh, Nino Kuni too, and it was mm -hmm. the only part of the game I really loved. Like I would just go find people to be like, "All right, come to my town so you can run this shop." I'd be doing side quests just to recruit people to run my shops. And they'd be like, upgrade oh, shop. Dude, that, I played Nino Kuni for probably 40 hours, and I probably spent eight on the story. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I mean, like, we'll see as I get further into the end game of Tales. But uh, yeah, that, that side quest for has happened in previous Tales games. I, oh, oh, you know what? So, DA. I had this thought, just because, you know, I've been consumed with this game all weekend, and just, like, thinking of, like, other fun things and ideas. <clears throat> what would you think of Tales of Warriors? I would love it. It, it sounds like a very good idea. Dude. There's enough variety. There's, you got your magician stuff like that. That sounds if like If they can really, do really Fire good. Emblem Warriors, they can certainly fucking do Tales of yeah. Warriors. The Warriors license can be put into a lot of franchises, and it would be done well. Because you've got your audience. You know, you'll need to innovate or change yeah, too they, much. They're, they're you know, breaking you know what you're right going now. in for. So, yeah. I, I would absolutely love that. Yeah, this game is actually like, breaking people into it. Like, uh, so I had uh, my board game night with a couple of my, um, with uh, some of my buddies, and we just like we're just talking about random things. Like, so, what games do you play? And then, then my one friend who uh, he likes anime, but he's not like super super into it. Um, <clears throat> he's like, oh, I'm playing some Tales of Arise right now. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, have you ever played? He's like, no, it's my first one. I'm like, oh, oh, okay, cool. I'm like, you like it? He's like, yeah, I'm liking it a lot. I'm like, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so this this is breaking a lot of people into the franchise, which is really cool. Yeah, I saw something that was just like uh, Tales of Basaria. It sold like two million, and um, Arise sold half of that in a couple of weeks. Yeah. So it's it's doing it's doing big boy things. But yeah, and I I hadn't realized how long it had been. Five and a half years since Basaria released in the U.S. Wow. Yeah. 2017, January. Kind of nuts. Or, that'd be four and a half, sorry. Four and a half. Almost five. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it, it's been a while since we've had a Tales game. Like, we had the Vesperia remake, but of course, that's an already existing game. We haven't had anything new. 
And yeah. <clears throat> so yes. Very, 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 very fun. Um but moving on. Has anyone played Deathloop yet? Not yet, but I plan to. Um It's another game I I've, radar. I, I've avoided people talking about it. But it's not a game I'm interested in playing right this second. Yeah. So it might that might be I another game. I playing it and uh playing it for the stream, but then I was like, everybody's gonna be doing it. Uh, yeah. whatever. That still might be a good idea. That might be something. If I don't feel like doing Kenna, I'd probably do Deathloop. <clears throat> thinking about yeah. it now. Okay. Um, oh, versus. How do you feel about Legends of Dragoon? But keep going. Oh, <laughs> I, f- I forgot he's actually he's playing it. Um, yes, everybody should play it at least <clears throat> once. So, uh, more Nickelodeon All Star Brawl news. Um, Ren and Stimpy were officially shown off. They seem to be like a Banjo Kazooie type. Of yep. a character where uh, uh, Stimpy is riding on Ren's back. Um, I don't think we've had the official move list showing yet, like we've had for a good chunk of the characters, but um, it's coming. They seem to be doing it pretty frequently. Um, and the other thing was there was uh, another character leak Miss Toph Bay Fong. Oh yeah, DLC potentially. Big, big money. Not big DLC. Big money, Paul. They showed the character select screen, and she's just there. Big, big money. Too many Avatar people. Shut up. <laughs> it's uh, three already. <laughs> Give me where's the. It, it, that's gonna be it. They you might get Zuko that's, and that'll be it. That that's that's it actually. They only have the three. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah DLC. You think they're not gonna throw another a uh, uh Avatar character in there? No, nah, I don't think so. Okay. Zuko, maybe. Yeah, that's the only one that I can think and, of. Uh, they also showed off um, gameplay of Cat Dog, and they seem very interesting. Broken? They're, they're <laughs> too strong. Broken? You can you <laughs> can switch between scrunk. Cat and Dog have different moves that you can switch between them. Too so scrunk. you can get the stronger dog or the faster cat. I'm like, that's that's good stuff. Too strong. <clears throat> They they were they were putting in work when I saw that little gameplay. Yeah, <laughs> not the trailer. There was just like a here's a match between Cat Dog and somebody else, and I was mm-hmm. like, oh no, oh no, they yeah. putting in heavy work. Right now, I feel like they are, with the limited information that we have, they are the best character in the game from what we have seen. It's heavy work, kind of bonkers. Essentially, they they are they are Pyramithra. <laughs> Sexy anime game girls or a cat and a dog stuck together. <laughs> tomato, yeah, tomato, I'm honestly. <laughs> One that pisses out of his armpit. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Um, moving on. We have a new little uh, tidbit of news from Activision Blizzard. The employees have filed an unfair labor practice suit. Uh, accusing the company of union busting and engaging in intimidation of their workers. I don't doubt it. Uh, oh, Amazon, yeah. it, it absolutely happened. It absolutely happened because they hired the same firm Amazon used. Mm-hmm. Union busting <laughs> is some of the dumbest. They just do not want unions protecting workers. They want to treat them and do whatever they want and then get them out. Mm-hmm. Wrestlers need uh, in unions. My God. Oh, dude. Oh, dude, all the wrestling news from that latest episode of Dark Side of the Ring. Oh, boy. Oh? Uh, episode of Dark Side of the Ring came out with the infamous plane ride from hell. Everybody was talking about it, um, which is one of the um, most well-known secret things in wrestling. Essentially, a bunch of wrestlers uh, got stuck on a tar- tarmac, so they decided to get drunk as f- and then... They got up in the air and acted like buffoons. So um, Brock Lesnar and I think Mr. Perfect, it might have been somebody else, um, were fighting and they were just uh, fighting so much and they bumped up against the emergency door and the rest of them were like, hold up, let's let's get them out of there. Um, Ric Flair exposed himself to a woman and forced her against the wall and told him, her to touch him. Um, oh, yeah, uh, who was it? Scott Hall uh, told some woman we're gonna, f- or it might have been Dustin Rose was told someone we're gonna f- and uh, grabbed her breast and stuff. Um, uh, one of the wrestlers were drugging the other wrestlers. 
what else happened on that plane ride? Uh, Mr. Didn't. Perfect just punched JBL on his in his forehead <laughs> after he had gotten busted open at the pay per view. I can't remember much else. It was bad though. It was it was real bad, dude. Like how much so, did you like it? How- <laughs> and Flair is getting dragged and. Somehow Tommy Dreamer is getting dragged worse because after the fact the um the woman that had uh two of the flight attendants had sued. Not even the one that got exposed to Flair, she wasn't gonna sue, but her friend did, and she was like, Hey, you should hop on this because you caught the worst of it. So she was like, Okay, I will. And then she settled out of court because her husband was like, Look, we just don't wanna we don't wanna we don't wanna be a item in the media. Mm-hmm. An item on the news. So let's just take the settlement and just stop talking about it. So she did that. And Tommy Dreamer at the end was like, well, if she really felt that way, she shouldn't have took the money. You know, uh, it was just a joke. Everything yeah, you, you is offensive to... Of, that's just flair being flair sort of thing. Yeah. And mm. it was very much victim blaming. And he is getting the scroll. Already fired from TNA. Uh, suspended indefinitely. Ric Flair lost commercial spots. It's a wrap, dude. It's nobody came out looking good except maybe just incredible. Everybody else just looked like complete dogs. Interesting. Sounds about right. Yeah, it's well worth a watch. Well worth a watch. Was Tommy Dreamer was he the one that always used the kendo stick? Am I thinking that right? No, that is Sandman. Or, um... Tommy Dreamer was the fucking... Blackman. The kendo stick dude. Steven Blackman. Or Steven Blackman. Uh, maybe Tommy Dreamer did use kendo sticks in ECW. But if you're talking strictly kendo sticks, you're probably talking about uh, Blackman. No, not, not strictly, but he did... Like, for the, some of the extreme matches, I mean, he used those sticks. everybody used fun. kendo sticks. There was someone in, like, late 90s, early 2000s, WWE specifically, that... Would always use kendo sticks. Then that that's Steve Blackman if you're talking about WWE. Let me see. Steve. He, it might even come up with uh, kendo sticks. Can we go back to Activision? What did the terms of the lawsuit mean? Uh, basically, union busting is when the workers try to get a union going. So somebody to represent them, make sure they get fair wages and all that stuff. A... Um, a company will hire a firm or something to go, hey, unions, they suck. And when people try to gather, they'll intimidate them or just like cease and desist stuff, that type of thing. Try to keep it as segregated as possible so Stop all the this. workers are individuals and can't gather yep. and try to create a union. So it's just a way to keep the unions from actually coming. Did like you find it's, the same reason, it's the same reason people let your bosses at work say not to discuss pay with your yeah. co-workers. Because uh, they'll you, get if, jealous if they hear yeah, your pay. If everybody knows pay, then you guys can negotiate a stronger uh, standpoint of pay. Like, hey, so-and-so with less experience than me and less profitability makes X, I deserve Y. Like, that kind of thing. Negotiation is a lot different when you have more data. No, I'm thinking of Tommy Dreamer. Really? Okay. Yep, he used Kendo. Were you watching ECW? <laughs> no, he was in WWE for a bit. Yeah, but as far as Kendo sticks, that's in. Yeah, he. he, yeah, used... he Tommy Dreamer used them a good bit. Yeah. Not as much as Steve Blackman. I wouldn't. You're I talking would, to I the... would not. Com- I would not say that he is a Kendo stick guy, though. I would say that Blackman and Sandman are. Yeah, I, I just know that like he had a habit. It wasn't like a core part of his identity, but it was just like. If he was reaching under the ring for something, he typically pulled out a kendo stick. He didn't use chairs. That's all that I can remember from it. Okay. I'm just saying, you're talking to the wrestling boys. I, I'm aware, I'm aware. I just... The wrestling boys. I, I just... I That is something I remembered about him, <laughs> specifically. Don't know why. That just stuck with me. Um, How much right. wrestling did you watch back then? Uh, a fair bit. Like, it was right around, like, I started watching a lot more um, when, right before Kane took off the mask, when he was, like, tag-teaming with uh, Rob Van Dam. That's when I was watching a lot. Let's see here. Uh, (laughs) 
Met Gala happened. Woo. Moving on. <laughs> and then... Lil Nas X going as Gilgamesh from Fate was hilarious. It's like, I mean, the things that I just, I saw from it, so there's that, there was, yeah, well, yeah, Lil Nas and his whole thing. Um, yeah, he straight up posted that on Twitter. He was, he was repping the view from Gilgamesh from Fate's Day. Mm -hmm. As well as, uh, um, just, yeah, like his three stage outfit was basically all about, like, being comfortable in your own skin and yada yada. Like, this is just him basically being himself unabashedly and doing him. And I liked it. <laughs> Um, and then I saw, uh, AOC wearing the Eat the Rich dress. That's basically it. That was it. fun. People uh, hated it. Yeah. And then, let's see. Oh, we, we're going to talk about the Activision thing. Um, let's see. I should have read this article before. That would have been smart. That would have been smart. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Um, that's really just that they did it and just. Yeah, specifics about. I don't it. think there's any uh, nothing new yet. information like that. Um, but hopefully, something comes of it. Yeah, and then and then the last thing that I have is uh, and and really, people, until there's a actual trailer showing him, if there is, quit asking Andrew Garfield if he's in No Way Home. <laughs> Homeboy's people tired. Can't. People, people can't. They they just want that that's not soundbite. They want to be the person who got the camera in his face and asked him, and then they get to put on that that on Twitter with their little um, at symbol at the bottom and just like, yo, I did this. Follow me. People want that. That's what it's always gonna be, unfortunately. Yeah. Or so or it's just people just going, I want to know because I want to get hype. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, I, I have one more thing. That's actually a big thing too. I forgot the Hawkeye trailer. And I have something, and I don't know if it's gonna okay. be the same thing. Hawkeye trailer. We didn't talk about that. Um, looks pretty decent. It looks decent. I, li I like the Christmas theme and just the lighthearted nature. They, they ain't going for Falcon Winter Soldier type thing. It's just like, it's literally a dad trying to get home for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Who happens to be an assassin that wields a bow. <laughs> Oh yeah, um, I, I, I feel like it's gonna be good. Yeah, that's that's what a lot of the the Marvel TV show things have been for Disney Plus. It's just been good. Have you seen the rumors slash leaks? Mostly rumors. No. Which ones? Uh, about Hawkeye. Oh, uh, the actor or good. the show? The show. I have not, no. Who's coming back? No. Kingpin. Hey. Oh, that. Well, yeah. Vincent D'Onofrio Kingpin. Oh, please. That fun. Please. Basically, uh, as soon as the trailer happened, he he tweeted out a poem or something. Yeah. And then he had liked something from Hawkeye before and then immediately unliked it. Please. Did you... On the same note... Yeah, of... it was a... Uh, it was Vincent D'Onofrio reprises his role at Hawkeye, and he liked it. And then, like, an hour later, he unliked it. In the same vein, though, did you see what happened with Tom Hardy and Venom? Oh, yeah. What? So, uh, uh... Well, there's two things. There's the leaked post credit scene, but there's also now he fucked up a little bit. And it's been removed. He posted a selfie of him in what looked to be a set trailer wearing the set cap for No Way Home. Oh, you. But that makes sense. It does. I expected it. So, with the. Did you hear about the leaked end credit scene yet or no? No, I didn't. I so, don't hear it. you don't want to hear it? No. Okay. I'll hear it. Because it's something you've already seen. It's just being reprised in his end credit scene. Yep, don't care. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. All right. Um, DA, your thing, and then we can call uh, this podcast Dunsky's. Norm McDonald passed away. Yes, he did. 
which was heartbreaking. Yeah, it was so weird because it was just like from his long bout with like cancer. And Private like, battle. It's like what? Yeah. The- Oh, it's man. like fucking Chadwick Boseman, man. Some of these, some of these guys just they never let it out. It's no, just, it's... It, it, that just came out of nowhere and it devastated. And I was just people just sharing uh, clips on Twitter. And I'm just dying laughing because, dude, yeah, man, his was delivery hilarious. was a plus. It was very dry, and that's what made it a great. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. <laughs> like, oh, is that what you're going with? Okay, <laughs> like it was, uh, I, I, it, it was sarcastic and dry, and I it loved it. It was fantastic. So yeah, that that was just like, dang, that really, really sucks. Because you know when Adam Sandler got his little, he he's in his little rut, and you know he'll always bring in Norm Macdonald, and Norm Macdonald will get a laugh from me. I remember like two laughs from Jack and Jill, and he was one of them. <laughs> and that's Jack and Jill. We don't think about that movie. So it was maybe no, because Holmes and Watson might be the worst comedy I ever saw. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to watch them back to back one day and just be like, what's worse? Just I no, implore people to watch Holmes and Watson one day. Just, I implore you. Just no laugh, just like purely an- analytical. You're just like sitting there, just like studying everything about both movies, and then after both are done, just with like glasses and a notepad. <laughs> yeah, yes. This was unfunny. <laughs> How bad is Jack and Jill? It's, um, it's almost unbelievable. Yeah. It is. It is it is the it meme is racist. Of Adam Sandler of just like he's doing a wacky voice and he's he's it's racist and he got his friends in there and he's going off to do a vacation on in Sony's dime with uh, with some hot women just like what if hey let's all hop on the boat it's insanity it's um it's nihilistic. I believe that's the word. Dunkachino. Dunkachino. And and all the people that are in there selling their souls for this paycheck, yeah. I could not believe. Johnny Depp was in that mug. Wow. And it's just like, how dare. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> oh, somebody knows that Dunkachino. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I implore people not to watch that video. <laughs> is that is it that would be advised to not watch? Is that, is that yeah, bad like, movie night material? No, no. Oh, the comedies are not bad movie night material. Sure, but like, like it's, uh, I feel like there might be comedies that pass that threshold, though. I have yet to find one. Okay. All right then. That's my boy. Jack and Jill, uh, and, uh, Holmes and Watson, it's just painful. Because when something is incompetent, an incompetent action scene is funny. and inco- Like uh, Mr. Fantastic's uh, stretching hand. Incompetent action scene, funny. Incompetent horror scene, funny. Incompetent uh, drama scene, funny. Incompetent comedy is unfunny. Mm-hmm. And there's no jokes to be made except that the joke failed. Comedy and, and also, how could it be improved? Comedy is unbelievably undoable for bad movie night. <clears throat> gotcha, gotcha. Now, yeah, Triton, that's a good idea. A contest, first person to laugh loses because something can be so unfunny you laugh, but then everybody wins. <laughs> oh boy. There right. has to be some type of punishment, though. And we all know how the rest are with punishments. I'm not eating beans. I wanted to do, whenever we do have our meetup, I wanted to do like a try not to cringe sort of thing. Just like gather some videos. Everybody gets Ugh. like five videos, shows it to other people. And it's just mm. like, look at them and whoever cringes lose. Ke- Kelly would just have to abstain because she would lose. Absolutely. <laughs> 
she she is a bundle of emotion. It's just no mask on well, that face. Like she, Horrible she, with poker. She 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 doesn't go to panels at cons anymore because she can't take the questions. The questions Any. are I I hate the questions. Did you like being that character? What's your favorite? If 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 a uh, death the kid and Haru he had to talk to each other, what would they say? Oh. <laughs> I know you said not to ask if you could do the voice, but could you do the voice, please? <laughs> I know you said one question each, but I have five. Number one. <laughs> Y'all don't mind, right? <laughs> I'm just going to ask, ask him. Oh, listen to my impersonation of your character. <laughs> Well, hey. I've seen a couple of them. I just like. I just wanted this, to say I that your phones. character, your character sucks, but I like your voice with the character, so that's really strange. I have. So this, anyway, on to my question. I have this gift for you. It's in this envelope. Hey, what is it? My hair. <laughs> okay. Do you like anthrax? <laughs> can Can I get a hug? That, that that was a flood of memories that grown. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's, what, it's what that was. Yes, yes, yes. We have we have lived through times. Oh boy! All right. Can you imagine going to the next con for the first time? Never forget, Mike is in a video with Vic Mignogna. Yep. Oh yeah. The next con is going to be the, just before the, the before times, the before yeah. before before times. Man, everything was the before times. <laughs> well, the, I'm waiting for the after times. <laughs> there there was about 15 before times when that video was yeah, taken. Yeah, that's the fucking <laughs> land before time. Okay, that's where that <laughs> zone did you is. Did have long hair? Yeah, yeah, he did. Uh, you did. You had long hair. That was. I don't know. I think that, he that was. That was the first YomaCon that me that we stayed together. Ralph didn't go to it. That's because that's why I took that video. Okay, you still had long hair, do you? Yeah, you been... didn't cut the top. You graduated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Met up with you. yeah. That, would, that would have been that was, sophomore that's before year. You graduated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, indeed. You didn't cut the hair till you were going for the job hunts, homie. Yep. yep. I was just trying to remember. Um. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been twenty. Ten? Okay, no, no, no. <laughs> glomp on you, yes. Can I glomp you? Oh, dude. Cons are terrible. Cons <laughs> are terrible. Okay, Gavin, no. Once it starts getting... The, I Those remember people one... have no inhibitions. I, I remember it's one uh, thing uh, panel was... Uh, no, we haven't. Anime frightened. something changed my mind. No. And it was the most... Incorrect, we, Ralph, we have. Things. You have. There's a difference. No. Uh, BG has as well, and I have as what? well. Yeah. Uh, there, there, was, there were, there were AMV that. panels oh, yeah. where a dude came up and, right. and asked us, right. us to sign stuff. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. I've I been asked for that. autographs uh, twice in my life. I give my art to um, voice actors, and sometimes they always <laughs> say, hey, sign this. That's true. And I begrudgingly will. <laughs> <laughs> They know uh, Gavin. Name. Yeah, we need to do a. Hey, come come up to uh, Michigan or Detroit. We could do some autograph hunting. I'm in. Cause that's my con. <laughs> this this is this is the um no no we're done. We here. don't need another one of me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, cons are super fun, uh, King. If you if you go in with certain expectations. Yes. Oh, expect. Oh, exactly. Go ahead. 20 facts about the USA. Uh, what? I, why, why would I ask that? Because I don't know. I'm about to say what state was Michigan, but I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm sure it wasn't in the 20s. Why you're, why you're picking. yours picking? Let's do uh, facts about Activision. Collectively, Activision and King now employed 9,100 people across two continents and two dozen game studios. They don't deserve it. Good old activity. We'll do uh, we'll do Never twenty did wrong thing. We'll do fact okay, twenty he since said, he's the current. Let's times. all pick one and DA just picks the best one. Mike gotcha. said twenty. I'll say eleven. Good year. Ralph? I was thinking six. Six. Six, eleven, twenty. And Triton said three just in case. Eleven. Up oh, eleven it is. Um <laughs> Hunting unicorns is illegal in Michigan. 
established by the Unicorn Hunters in 1971 as a PR stunt for the University of Michigan. During this time, LSSU offered a unicorn hunting license. So you can get a license to hunt, but without a license, it is illegal to hunt. That's the kind of shit I'd expect from Indiana. So, you know, power to you guys. <laughs> How can people be this stupid? What are you in for? <laughs> Hunting unicorns? Hey! <laughs> our old buddy John oh, just worry. gave us a follow. Oh, John. John. <laughs> thanks, th- thanks for the follow, John. Yeah, Subasa no AMV Pro just followed us. Oh, that bastard found us dang! We were running from him! Time to name the name again! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Okay. Also, uh, Al Odie and Pigs24, thank you for the follows as well. Didn't uh, mention those earlier. Um, that old <laughs> ass name. Hey, hey, man. You you have the anagram in your name. I'm not going to not say it. <laughs> um, what was I just thinking? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you say screw that name, but you still use it to make AMVs. I see them. <laughs> <laughs> um, was oh, just I was gonna make a joke about Voldemort <laughs> in book one. She's like, "Fuck Michigan, can't be here." It's long past. It's oh. long past. All right, that's it. We're done here. With that, thank you everybody for tuning into this episode of the podcast and stuff. Uh, we will be doing it next Sunday. However, there will be no Ralph. <clears throat> yeah, we're calling it now. I have. To work that so, night, so we'll mark it down. Mark it down. It's not. It's not a late. It's not. Yeah, it's an no, absence. Mark, work. Too. mark down, Mike. Too. I'm not. I'm not letting this slide. Uh, all right. All right. We're done here. All right. Later, Thank you, everybody. Guys. Get where late is Mike's fault. We will see Push you. It, Mike, push the damn button next week. Later.